Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Channel, guys. It's super, 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 and super windy outside. I will show you. I will show you. If this works. It's, it's starting to... It's pending. Oh, God. Let me restart the, the software. I have the Virtuos 6-inch telescope outside. It's the only uh, telescope I can use. The only mount. Because of the wind, of course. Oh, God. Trying to connect. My connection is, is, I don't know, it's awful. I don't know if it's because of the wind. I, right now I have no clouds. According to the predictions I posted on Discord, the movement, I was, I were with clouds. We were here in, with clouds. Full of clouds all, all day. But this is not working. <laughs> Come on. But... I was watching the movement, I posted a picture there, full of clouds over me, then another picture, I was all afternoon tracking the sky, another picture and the, the clouds moving, and right now we have no clouds, well we have clouds but not so, so harmful, let me open the camera because this is a bit scary outside, the wind is so strong, it's probably it's the the worst day of this year of wind and I'm a bit um, concerned let me see if I can see from here with you okay you see look look at the trees It's super, super windy. And the telescope, it's right on the bottom. I placed the telescope right on the corner. Near me. Super windy. My god. And uh, I I would love to, to place the 12 inch outside tonight. Or even the 8 inch. But I couldn't. I just couldn't. Let's see if we can do something. Thank you, gentlemen, for your super chat. You're not able to join the stream regularly anymore. Oh, no. That's not the good news. But still want to show my support. Keep up the good work. Gentlemen, whatever you are doing, whatever you are doing, and whatever the place you are watching from, just remember as long as you have internet watch the replays at least and have a chat once in a while with us on discord i really appreciate really appreciate thank you very much thank you, thank you. no sound i hear you now yes it was the connection that's why i was waiting a bit Hello Astro Thieb, Quasar, Samir, Geisler, Brian Fowler, Viper, Jello Man again, Philip, Star Guy from the Super Large Television, <laughs> Maktam Abu Halan, welcome to this wonderful community. Let's play it, let's play it, let's disconnect this. I see already the, the wind is there and nothing to do. And the prediction for the rest of the night, it's worst. So that's why I didn't risk. But the good news is we have Saturn here. We have Sta Saturn here. Let me center it. Unfortunately, not with... Um, 
not with the telescope I would like to show you the Saturn opposition. I promise you I did my best. Look at the wind. Even with the Virtuoso at the corner. We will have a tough night tonight. Watching a super bright Saturn opposition. Which means that we are in the middle of Saturn and the Sun. We are watching with this powerful, super tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny that I'm watching. Okay, this telescope, the six inch, 150 millimeters. A gift from my sponsor, AstroArt Finland, which I glad appreciate. Skywatcher. Heritage Virtuoso 150p Telescope An amazing beginner telescope It costs around 400, 500 bucks And as you can see it's enough to do the job And by the way it was my salvation tonight If it wasn't for the Virtuoso I couldn't stream a decent view of Saturn Okay I have inserted in the focuser this 294 MC color camera to get a high, a wider field of view. But I inserted also a Barlow, a 5x Barlow, so it's super zoom. This is the Barlow, and it's exactly as is. All of these adapters, it's with an infrared cut filter and uh, everything inserted in the barlow so it's super zoomed it was the best i could do i could uh, stream with a 2x barlow but it, i thought well let's magnify this the best i can otherwise it will be super small you'll see even with a 5x you see the field of view it's super small but with a 5x at least we have a, a larger saturn now the atmosphere with this all this wind and all these clouds it's a bit weird we can see some atmospheric dispersion it's a, a soft bluish tint at the top of saturn and a reddish tint at the bottom this is a, because of the atmosphere i tried to focus the best i could but with all this wind and all these conditions we just have to be grateful to at least can see Saturn such a bright Saturn but don't worry don't worry especially the members of this channel because I will have a challenge for you I will have a, a huge challenge for you because I was thinking before the stream I was aligning the telescope well i i was placing the telescope i didn't align it but i was tr uh, getting trouble with the focus of the telescope because it's super zoomed but i wanted that for you for you to see it better and i was struggling and at the end i thought well this can't be fair me struggling here a lot and my community just sitting on their sofas with large and wide televisions, 4K, watching Saturn opposition, and me here suffering, sweating all over, all over the place, suffering a lot. And I thought, let's pass some of this suffering to them, to my community, especially to the ones that support this channel. They deserve to suffer a bit more because they support this channel. So, members of the Dobsonian Power community, I have a huge challenge for you huge because during this live stream i will record a video so raw footage of saturn from the virtuos with a 5x which is the worst as it can be it's not a, an easy an easy thing to to process i will record the video and then i will post the video link on discord on the youtube members and then i want at least some of you the bravest ones 
the ones that have the courage to do this challenge to post-process and do planetary imaging with it and then later during the full moon after the super blue moon we will do a live stream a members only live stream again some of you asked uh, or suggested like Samir did to break down the planetary imaging process I have videos about that I do always more or less the same workflow and it works very well for me but I'm always you know that I'm not jealous and I'm all well at least in this situation and I'm always well I'm not envious not jealous I'm not envious and I want to learn also from you so if you have a different process you can show us the results and then in the live stream you can show us how to do it and we compare the results and the others that are there to learn can have more different suggestions of a workflow of a recipe basically to do a, a post-processing planetary imaging nice idea no so i can interact with you in the members community just for members this kind of stuff technical stuff all for members not for the the main channel and i want people like samir even as if i don't know if you already evolved in that uh, planetary imaging i don't know the ones that are a bit later in the, in the learning curve how whatever to try at least to try to do something the ones that don't know anything you have vi uh, videos about it in my channel the ones that uh, don't know and uh, just struggle don't worry stick with us and join us in that uh, live stream or watch the replay to to learn the different processes if any because at least my workflow will be exposed deeply there i will explain why i do this and why i don't do that to get the final picture of saturn all of my pictures these years i love my pictures of saturn of uh, of Jupiter even with the Virtuoso with the Virtuoso it's super more uh, hard to to do the the processing so it, that's why I said it's a huge challenge also for you bang hey Sydney greetings to Sydney Australia good morning now Another information for you, what I did here, I did not align anything. Well, now I have this, this uh, look at the wind, super powerful. Now I have this trick, this lazy trick is point the telescope, do a fake alignment, tell the telescope that it's aligned, and then I point manually to whatever I want. And if it's a deep sky image, not like this, a deep sky with all of those stars, I just do like I did in the last live stream, plate solve with sharp cap and done. Bam! Simple as this. With the planets, you can't plate solve with a 5x barrel, no stars, no nothing. So what I did was point manually, I did the traditional star hopping. Star hopping. hopping. lazy style point to the the saturn is very easy to point to any planet you point you look at the screen when you see a white bulb it's the planet then you focus and i just said to the software i will show you what i did i will show you nothing like an image to to understand i came here this is the the start S uh, star solar system saturn and i click here point and track i didn't click on go to i click on point and track and that's it it's what he he's doing right now the software and the telescope it's point and track and it's working fine to be fair it's working fine it's working fine so from now on i will do like this with the uh, the point and track feature of sharp cap of uh, scene scan application which is the application 
which connects the telescope to my computer. The Virtuoso telescope, which is outside. 6 inch, don't forget. Skywatcher, 6 inch, go to Virtuoso, Heritage, 150p telescope. The box, it's right down below. Quasar, thank you for gifting 10 Obsonian Power memberships. Thank you very much. This is crazy night. Thank you. Thank you. Crazy night, crazy night, even with all those clouds, all this wind, all this struggling, everything against us, but we are fighting against it. And we did it. We are pointing to Saturn opposition live. With the Dobsonian power. Dobsonian power. power. Loads of positive energy for you. I hope you're having a great weekend. Great weekend, because this is not only about photographers. This is about watching the sky, connecting with the sky, enjoy the beauties of the sky, and especially these wonderful events. Once in a year, Saturn opposition. Saturn is there. Well, Saturn is there. We are here and the sun is behind. In a straight line, we are in the middle. So it's super bright right now. It's the brightest moment of Saturn. Actually, the peak, the peak will be in about uh, maybe two hours from now. It doesn't matter because you have um, two, uh, at least one or two days will be will be very bright, and even more if you want. But now is the tonight is the night tonight is the night if you have a telescope point your telescope outside to saturn it's it's now or never Hello Ray, Arizona Ray. I'm sorry about that, Ozzy Crypto. Get a new one, a new spider vein. That's not... it's not expensive. Hello, Laura from Brazil! Laura is also... is from Brazil, is our subscriber and also from our Dobson and Power Brazil, which is another channel that I have for the people that speak Portuguese. And I have also Dobson and Power Espanol. I'm struggling to, to make those two channels because I'm focusing on this, of course. And I, that will be the future, focusing first on this channel, main channel, in English. However, I'm trying to, as a side job, to lift those two languages for the people from Brazil, Portugal, Africa, all those countries, Angola, Mozambique, uh, whatever, to to allow them to watch videos if it, they don't speak English, and also Latin America and Spain. <laughs> oh, Jason, Jason, Jason! I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you did it. Yes, it was a bit uh, hard. Let me center Saturn. Actually, what I will do, because it's running away a bit, I will center like this. With the arrows, you see? And now... Like this. Zoom it. I think now it's a bit better. I will try to record a video right now. 
I will try to record the video right now. Like this. This is on 8-bit because I was using a feature that they have here, Planet Stabilization. To focus the telescope with a Barlow, it's it's hard. This is a bit overexposed to to the footage, but I will do something like this. Thank you, Astro C, for gifting. Five more Dobsonian Power Memberships! Thank you very much! Thank you! Thank you. And heading to the last ten, Laura from Brazil! Sapache Dogs, Shells, Wizard Crystal and Sassy! You are now members of the Dobsonian Power community! Welcome! Welcome to this wonderful community. I will take you off a bit, Jason, to show the recording. So this is like this. I will center it again. It's running to the right. Ah, another thing, I'm using a wired connection. I'm not connecting the... I don't have the connection, the Wi-Fi connection. I'm using the wired connection with a cable and a device. And why is that, Tiago? If, if the telescope has a, a wireless connection, why you don't use it? Because, because this device, it's not very, very expensive. It's not very expensive, ab around 30 bucks. And with a new USB cable, you can connect it wired and the connection is much more stable actually it's super stable it never failed until now so now i will use the region of interest to lower this and get faster frames and now capture start capture saturn start this is recording av av files to keep it simple you see i reduce the region of interest the camera is working only with a tiny space tiny real estate of the sensor and having all the rest not working And this allows usually a faster frame rate. Well, actually in my situation I think it will not because because of my large cable, 5 meters cable, then the cable goes to a hub, a power hub, and then it goes with another cable to the computer. So it's super large. I do this because I'm here sitting to to live stream. There's two options here, stop capture or pause. If I see the Saturn is getting off of the screen, I will zoom. I pause and readjust. Watch me, pause. And now I go here, I lower this and I just recenter. Okay, and now resume. You see, it's uh, a trick. Bonus trick! Bonus trick! For tonight. It's a trick to, um, to readjust. You can do this, especially, this is especially useful if you're doing planetary imaging with a Dobsonian without tracking. You know that you can do that without any tracking. So the, the, the planet will try to run away from the field of view then you can pause readjust and then again from the 
it's better doing it diagonal in diagonal here you have more real estate don't forget new members of this community you can go on uh, join us on this car it's free it's free it's free to join and uh, you can connect your youtube account to the discord account so you can have some benefits there also you can access to our community tab for members only and get access to previous live streams just for members and other stuff and information also just for members And it's free. To join on Discord, it's free. Well, we have so far three minutes. It seems it's not very unstable now, so that's why I took the chance. We will do around four minutes, not more, because of the, um, the rotation. Four minutes, it's enough. Three, four, five... Because some of these frames will be a mess. Because of the scene. Later I will do this again. To have a second footage. You can see that the frame rate. Well you can't but I will tell you. It's super low. It's only 14 frames per second. But it's working fine. In USB 3.0. With about uh, 6 or 7 meters of cable connection so it's huge and it's a, a regular cable you have links and the, at dobsonianpower.com get free resources and links to the gear i use at dobsonianpower.com okay this is enough stop capture and we have here a video It will have to be debayered because it's on 8-bit. Raw 8 here at the top. It was the capture. And here the Roy, I will deselect and select the large field of view of the camera again. Hello, Mr. Paul. I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're doing awesome. Ooh, the wind. Look now, the wind. I took the best chance. Actually, Ulysses, I love to watch Saturn through an eyepiece. And with this telescope that we are using, which for the ones that just joined, it's this telescope, the 6-inch Virtuoso. If you use, for instance, a 25mm, which is the one that I have, with a 5x Barlow, you will have a 5mm eyepiece. But I prefer to watch with the large dobs. Especially the one that usually... Well, every time I can, I use here. Which is the 12-inch Dobsonian telescope. And usually we call it... The King. The King. But right now you are watching Saturn in real time. This is not uh, a processed image of Saturn. This is in real time. Saturn Opposition 2023 with a 6-inch Virtuoso Small Dobsonian Telescope. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. 
You know that uh, tool? It's not very expensive, but I don't like to use it. Well, I never used it. I never bought it because, because I'm lazy. It's the truth. It's the ADP you will see in the stars and some of you may ask yourselves, what the heck is this ADP? And you read and this is an atmospheric dispersion corrector. ADC. Atmospheric dispersion corrector. It's an ADC. Let me check. ADC ADC yes atmospheric dispersion corrector 159 bucks on Astroart Finland our sponsor this show is sponsored by Astroart Finland your astronomical partner this tool this tool, they say here, is used to reduce the effect of the atmospheric dispersion on lunar and planetary images. And is exactly this that you... I don't know if you can watch on YouTube. But here, you will have... Uh, you have here a bluish tint at the top and a reddish tint at the bottom. This can be fixed a bit on post-processment if you want to do imaging. However, if you use that tool, you can correct on the fly while using for visual and for and for imaging. You can correct with those screws and you just fix it until it will move the, the blue and the, the red. I know how it works, but I never used it. To align them so we can have... Uh, we can get rid of them, basically, or at least almost all of, of them. In the post-processment software, you do basically the same. It moves, it's on Registax, you can move on the menu on the right side, you can move the, um, uh, do the RGB alignment, and you move up and down or left and right to adjust those, that uh, ghost, that bluish ghost, and um, and reddish also. A quick tip. Look, Brian has a, an ADC and says it is not worth the trouble in my opinion. You experiment what I was feeling about it. It's right that the trouble to be there and then it's one more thing to add to and as we have a registack at the end to, to fix that, to adjust. One more thing, one more tool, it's one and a quarter tool. So if I usually in the 8 inch and 12 inch dobs, I use only 2 inch. Everything is 2 inch, not like the Virtuos. But with the other dobs, which is the ones that, uh, which are the ones that I like to use for everything. The larger the better. If I can place the 12 inch, I place the 12 inch. It's a larger one. And um, not tonight because of the wind. And with a two inch, everything two inch, and then a one and a quarter at the middle, then it it's so high that it pulls everything outwards. So you you will add more travel to the to the focuser. No. So far. There's been a long time that I I had ne I never had that feeling to okay let's okay let's do it let's and I can ask my sponsor okay I will talk with my sponsor to send me one no I just ask my sponsor for stuff that I will use and that I will love and enjoy using here with you I will not and I will never well I never say never but. It's not in, on my plans to be a channel for gear reviews. Like uh, review, 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 review new gear, new... No. That doesn't uh, give me... That doesn't fulfill me. And I don't want to have loads of gear here that I will not use, basically. 
I want to use everything that you see that I'm using now and, and ever. I do it with passion. I l l love to use it. The only thing, now I return the ZWO Duo Band filter because I had a similar filter. Similar, it's not the same, but it's similar. It's the quad band narrow band filter. And guess what? The filter was getting around Europe and it returned to me. It was returned. And I said it was yesterday. I received the, the ZWO Duo Band filter again. And I said to my sponsors, hey, you didn't receive the... No, no, it didn't arrive here. Well, I will keep it. So I will keep the duo band that I showed you already. But I will use in different setups. I might use one of them in the Virtuoso and the other one in the other, you see. But it's a filter that I will really use with passion because uh, I like... The, that filter. I enjoyed that one and the Altair Quad Band. They are very, very similar. Actually, I will tell you a secret. To see... The true is always the true. And the people that say is always the true... Or at least don't lie too much. It's easy to prove. Look at this. Look where is the filter. You see the filter? Let me see if it's... Where is the name of the filter? Come on, focus! Doesn't want to focus. Well, it's a duo band. It says here. Do you know what this is? Some of you will identify. Now it's focusing. This is from the dwarf. I was going to test this with the dwarf, but Unfortunately, the clouds didn't allow me to do it. Let me clean this. So you see, I will have another purpose for this filter. Because it's a good filter. And I saw some people on, on the web with this filter and the dwarf and I like what I saw. So I will do the same. If they can do it, I can do it. Of course, Quasar, thank you for remembering. If you're enjoying the show, remember to give it a like to spread it all over the world. Stargai, in Brazil it's the opposite. While we are in the summer here on Europe, in Brazil they are at the... Oh, look at the wind. They are at the winter. Look at the wind now. I'm glad I... I recorded the footage. It's super windy. It's impossible. I'm happy even with this... Well, it's what we have with this image. I could have a much better image in real time. But I'm, I'm happy and I'm grateful that at least I could place a telescope, get rid of the clouds and watch the Saturn opposition and do the live stream with you. moving the telescope it's so strong now the wind imagine with a larger telescope impossible so the ZWO duo band filter was walking from the south of Europe to the north or whatever I don't know it was it's a mess the the shipping Europe has so much to evolve in that um, in the shipping between countries it's 
South Brazil. Yes, guys, slowly. write that. Every, even that, that I was here with a 12 inch, well, I could have a, a better image with a 12 inch because of the aperture. It, it doubles the aperture. But the conditions are the conditions that we have, are what they are. Not so much the light pollution and the, the, um, and the, the moon, but special that's bright uh, already at 75% uh, more or less, I think, of brightness. But for the planets, the more important is the seeing. The seeing and everything that happens in the atmosphere. Jet, um, jet stream, the wind, dust, everything. Every, everything that uh, mess with the image, it's, uh, it will affect. The wind is harmful because if I record the video right now, look at the wind. It's shaking all over the place, the, the, the planet. So the frames will be even fast flames. All, all of them are almost all will be to, to delete because they will not be useful. So we need certain stability. We need stability for planetary imaging. The seeing, transparency, um, darkness is always good, of course. And, um, and stability with the wind and no clouds, of course. Let me see the, the weather right now, the satellite. So the only the only night with clouds is precisely tonight. Don't forget on Wednesday we will have the super blue moon, super blue moon, the largest moon of the year. Unusually hot weather. Weather anomaly, it's super hot, it's true. The heat even the heat, Geisler, the heat from the ground that during the day stays on the ground and then during the night it will be released to the sky it's horrible yeah so this group of clouds were, were the this was the group that uh, i posted on on discord and that i could get rid of it at least now we can have some clouds thin clouds but nothing like this so I'm glad I could, uh, I could stream. Now, it's thanks to the wind, it's thanks to the wind that I have the live stream and no clouds because the, the wind was responsible to clean the sky from the clouds. So I can't complain too much. If I see a period of stabilization of the, the wind, I will record another one. Maybe now. I don't remember the region of interest that I used, but I can use this one. Capture our capture and do it again now I had already a file named Saturn so it will record this video the settings I'm using it's raw 8 a region of interest smaller than the camera, of course, it's this one. And recording AV files. I could record on SER files, but I don't know if you... Well, AV to, to, be, to keep it simple. And it's not so large. If you record on SER files, it will be a larger file. 
So guys, look, I'm recording this with these conditions, but even like this, it will be processing and stacking. It will be better. Try that. Try that. I will send the, the file to Discord so you can download the files. This is the challenge for you. That I said at the beginning of the stream. We are watching the Saturn Opposition live. I'm recording another video file. So it's the second one that I will allow you to download and then try to do a planetary imaging, a post processment. Use whatever software you like. Now it's very, very bad. You see, the thing is changing every time, every second. Sometimes it seems like it's out of focus, but it's not. It's the thing. The focus is also very important on planet. Now, but it's... I did... It. I was half an hour, well, 20, 20 minutes adjusting the best I could, the focus, and it's the best I could do. Files on the Discord, AV files, at least two. I think two is enough. Or maybe just one. I will choose the best one. One file, AV file, you download members only. Only members of this channel. And then you post process. Then I will do after the super blue moon. I will do a members only live stream. I will show you how I process the same AV file. And I want at least one of you to do a better, to get a, a better result than, than me. I'm not envious. The goal here is not to be the best one. The goal here is to help you. Three minutes. I think the other one is better. I will pause, readjust. And the other one was with a smaller field of view also. Resume. Okay. The goal here is to help you to evolve. I don't pretend to be the best one. I don't care. The ones that know me already know that. I really don't care. And that's a, a way of... It's my personality and that's a, a way of living that I always had. I'm not saying it's the best one because sometimes in, the, in your job... I don't know. I, I have doubt see if uh, being like that is good or not. But it's it's just me. I tried to be better than myself yesterday. You know, what I did yesterday. Now today I will try to do better, but without uh, being tracking the others. You know, but that, when I see something like I saw an image. With a Dwarf 2 telescope, which is, by the way, this telescope, a pocket telescope. With a ZWO Duo band filter, well, more than one image, and uh, with good results. Then I, I say, if they made it, I will make it. I can do it. In a positive way, you see. I love this Dwarf. This is the... The best smaller teles pocket telescope, only the Dwarf. Remember this, people. Pocket telescope, only the Dwarf. With a low price. You have other telescopes, but with a much higher price. But pocket telescope, better than this, it doesn't exist right now. It will be, in my opinion, uh, a feature of a smartphone in the future. A smartphone that uh, you can use to to take good pictures and track the sky with a telescope basically but it doesn't exist yet there's no way to to beat the dwarf in portability that's why i have it oh i forgot to to close this stop five minutes and a half well it should be fine Five minutes and a half of a video file that I will post on Discord for members only to download, process, and then we learn from each other. Remember one thing, the more members try to do this, the better it will be. 
because it will not be only me. I know what I'm going to do because I always do the same. I will get the best picture I can. But maybe one of you can get a better picture doing a different um, process. Something different from me. And if it's a better picture, I will also learn from you, which is beautiful. And the others in the members live stream will also learn. That's the goal. By the way, we are watching with a 6-inch Virtuoso telescope only, a camera and a Barlow, 5x Barlow, and we are watching precisely from here. Planet Earth, continent Europe, country Portugal, region Algarve, 37 latitude, Bortle 5. Guys, I want to ask you something that it doesn't enter my mind. I can't assimilate that. I just can't. You know that I I upload short videos also. When I uploaded the the short video of the Chandrayaan 3 footage that they they were watching while the 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 spacecraft was landing on the moon, of course, nobody was filming, of course. And they had a simulation on, like NASA had, on a big screen, on ISRO, and they were tracking the, because the the spacecraft doesn't land right away. It, it does like this up and down, up and down to stabilize, and then finally it landed. And they see the motors from four motors. They they disconnected two, and only two engines were working to be softer and softer and all that was of course digitally simulated you can't imagine i passed a lot of time banning people because you know that i'm super strict in that i don't want bad people here banning people that was uh, insulting uh, because it was fake because it was india because it was it was not uh, true they were not on the moon it's a lie whatever and then, well, I thought, well, people are, are crazy. And then I placed uh, the other day uh, another short video with real footage, with real footage. Bam! Take that. Hit that, fake fake people. With real footage of the 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 rover over the the moon. They they shared that Israel the space station from India and even with that footage which you can see clearly the rover the the probe there uh, walking and the moon people was laughing insulting it's fake it's whatever uh, insulting the people from India and people I really don't understand. I understand that some people, because of politics, insult out other countries that you know very well because of politics. But India, they don't do any harm to anybody. They are, I love the, that people. They are super polite, super good for us here in, the, in my channel. It's my experience. They are super... They invest in, uh, in uh, astronomy, which is a thing that I wish my country did that. And other countries like, for instance, Brazil is a huge country. Where's the, the investment to the moon and to that stuff? Not because of you, Laura, I'm sorry. But it's what, really what I think about, uh, about this. And I can't understand why, because it, I ban a lot of people that was insulting and telling it was fake, telling it was not true and telling a whole bunch of crap just in that short because in the in the other shorts i did from um, luna 25 and from other stuff they didn't if somebody can explain to me what's happening with people in the world so many people i would like to know and to understand why they act like that 
Of course it's fantastic, a country like India. People just being mean to be special, yeah, but insulting. I know that people, well, I ban loads of hate here, but it's stupid hate, you know. But uh, specific to a country. I also thought it could be bots or something with names, I don't know. In, in nowadays, we can't distinguish many times, oftentimes bots from humans, which is, a, which is a shame. Let me change the region of interest to it tends always to the right. I don't know why. It's recenter, but notice that the wired connection with the virtuos works flawless because it's stabilized. Now the thing is awful. Look at this. And I focus here. Yeah, Laura, it's not because of you. Of course. And I say the same to my to my country. I wish my country do did something investing more. But they will not. It's a small country. Why is this running away? Let me adjust because if it runs away then I I lose the, the planet and it's awful to center it. Well, five minutes to center it with a um, 5x barrel that I'm using. Jello man, Portugal is part of ESA. Yes, but it, we are um, suppliers. My country, I talk from my country. We are just suppliers of uh, engineers and whatever to the exterior to the external countries on Europe period it's what we ha we have and anything that you do inside my country mm, it's not uh, um, oftentimes it's, they don't give you the value and then you will seek outside in other countries the the merit that you deserve it's always like this here in my country but we are small, we are only... <laughs> we are super small, Portugal has only 10 million people, around 10 million people, so you, it's a, a big city. <laughs> so that I understand, I can, but countries like, I don't know, like Brazil, that it's huge and they have uh, more power. And other countries. So that, what I think it's that gives more value to what India did. Hello, Reiner. Yes, Samir. Uh, I remembered you. I'm telling the truth. I remembered you and that uh, feeling sometimes we have. Because the only thing that... Uh, the only explanation I found to that behavior because it was massive it was not a, a normal behavior like here one a day or two or twice a day i have to ban someone here in the, the and it was on the three channels because i uploaded the, the same shorts i translated to brazilian uh, to portuguese and to spanish so i had three different uh, viewer um, kind of viewers because other countries completely different to analyze and it was exactly the same very very rude people telling not uh, against me as usual it is not against the the youtuber but against india and i said what the heck is happening that so many people they don't harm anybody and my conclusion was i don't know i might be wrong but my conclusion it's uh, the feeling of envy it's the only explanation I can find. They are envious for some reason. 
For instance, my country doesn't uh, do those kind of stuff. But I'm not envious. I I really appreciate that other countries do. It's what matters is as a whole, the planet as a whole, humankind. But maybe some people think that should be their countries or... And different countries, not uh, the biggest countries. No, no, no. Totally different countries all over the world. Insulting them. While in the short video that I uploaded from uh, Luna25, the, all the messages from Indians in that short are to support that country. The opposite. How can we don't like... How can we don't like people from India? How can we don't like people from India? They are super polite with me here. Well, they you, some of you are here. Actually. Some of you are here, and I'm glad you are. The more th this happens, the more willing I have to enhance India. It's just a, a relief to tell you. Yes, some people... I received that Brian Fowler also. Oh, the, the, it was like Apollo, it was uh, fake. Uh, well, they want to think that and some people think the, the Earth is flat and whatever. But notice that, that those, those ones will not add anything to, to the evolution of our speci species. Our species. Right that Ernest. Portugal may be small, but is filled with many kind hearts. Kindness is what makes this planet beautiful. That's true. That's one thing that everybody I live in a place of Portugal. We mix a lot of cultures here. It's a different place from the rest of the country. Because we have people from all over the world here. It's a tourist region. We have English, mainly English, Germans. Sweden, from Sweden, Swedish people, um, from the north of Europe. Now we have more United States citizens also. They are discovering us. French, lo loads of people from French and uh, basically all over the Europe. Chinese also. But mainly United Kingdom. So we mix Spanish, Italians, we mix lots of uh, countries here. It's not na like uh, Canarias, that they mix more uh, Spanish, German and uh, Italian, basically. Here we, in Algarve, we mix a lot. Holland, Netherlands. Yeah, that was what my wife said. They are uh, primitive. Simply that. Primitive. But I say, yes, they are primitive, but something being... You can be primitive and be a kind person. You don't understand, you opt by... Don't say anything. It could be wrong. But no. Ignorance... India now has the wealth and scientific structure to have a space flight administration. Did you notice that the race is getting tough? Now it will be Japan that will send a, a satellite to work with... Uh, well, working already with ESA and NASA to... Um, and people forget that all of those nations are together in the International Space Station and in other, in other jobs like the lunch uh, that we had today with uh, SpaceX and uh, people from NASA and from, um, from the other country that usually people don't like, I don't know why.
Yeah, Laura, politicians only do... Only get uh, us... Get, get, they get us in trouble. Always. That's why I don't talk about politics. Uh, politics. <sighs> Many people are stuck in the past with huge national pride. Nowadays we are living in a global world. Maybe that also. They didn't. Many people didn't realize that uh, countries are symbolic now, and they will be. Yes, I do, Chris. I will do more often. Uh, daytime observations of the sun. The the thing is here is super hot now, and the sun super strong, so it it will not arm the telescope. But uh, I go outside and it's so hot to be there with a telescope. It uh, doesn't give the comfort of uh, the autumn or the um, the spring season, for instance. Hello, Antonio Cortez. Did you get rid of the neighbor's lights already? <laughs> you see, Robert. Well, but actually, I, I like that movie, Interstellar. That one uh, uh, had to be made. It opens the mind. It's good. Light still on. Antonio Cortez. I'm sorry about that, Cortez. Yeah, Interstellar is a great movie, Ultraman. It's a movie that had to be done. It's one of the best movies out there recently. So you are a lawyer and you have to deal with this kind of stuff. It's tough, Laura. É uma vergonha, Laura. E António Cortes, congratulations! For your new Celestron AVX mount. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh, we debate this a lot, and Samir jumped in a lot in this. He's a uh, more pessimist, but I, I still have because because people like you, for instance, and like me, still make me believe that uh, at the end we will win. Even being, even most part of the world are um, completely idiots which I truly think the most part of the world are idiots there are a, a smaller part that uh, I think it will win at the end at the end of this era I think I believe in that it's only a belief but it's hard to fight that uh, that uh, pessimism 
with uh, such an idiot every day that we see every single day every single day we get out on the streets and we see so much idiots so much idiots I know Chris, but now Venus it's not in a good position to me. It was when uh, the Venus planet was good and we did a live stream, well more than one. With um, the Eastern Elongation. Let me readjust this. I'm moving too much. I think now I could refocus this, but it will be... It's too windy to be out there refocusing. And I don't even know if it will work, because this is the, the scene. Look at the wind. Oh, Dave, Skywatcher Dave. Ireland is it's not um, very lucky for astronomy, I believe. That's one of the, the well, that's the main reason of uh, remember when I said before that here in my region we have loads of different cultures, mainly from United Kingdom. That's the reason. They arrive here. This is not an expensive country. We are kind people here in general. We don't uh, have much troubles with uh, problems. We are uh, a Pacific European country. And they, they stay here. Here at the south, they have uh, good weather. Almost all, all year. And they choose to live here. Many, many... People from United, King United Kingdom. Unexpected. If your phone is your only camera yet, use it. Just enjoy. At least for the moon, it's good. And then the planets... The rest will be tough until you get the camera. I, now I need to refocus this, but it's so windy outside. More Dobsonian power to the people! Dobsonian power! If you like this kind of content, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with videos and live streams. I will check outside the wind. And maybe try to focus. But to focus, I will need. To focus, I will do the trick. I will show you. Let me take off the... I can't see Saturn from Texas. I'm on 37 latitude. Uh, the, the people from north, 
have more travel, of course. So I will do. But it's still low in the in the sky. But I don't know Texas. Maybe someone here in the chat can can tell you. If you can see Saturn, when it will be higher in the sky, it will be higher. Um, well, it depends on the time of the night. I'll do this. I have on Route 8, so I can do this. Planet Stabilization on. And it will fix the planet and I will move the focuser. Let me see if I don't mess it all. I'm not touching it and it's getting out of focus. It's so easy. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. And look at the planet. Super wind. Oh, I'm good. You see this red line? I have to readjust. I'll do like this. Zoom out. It's getting out of the, the screen. I take off. Well, I can move like this. You see? This is a very nice feature. Yeah, this is the... Um, the wind. I will try again to do the best I can. But it's the same as before. Yeah, I will leave it like this. Now it stopped a bit the wind. Stopped a bit. Very hard, very, very, very hard to focus this with a... Um,
slightly be like Either ways, I will do again. I plan to do again the the planets, Saturn included, in further live streams. Don't worry. With a 12 inch, with a stable night, even out of the opposition, the opposition would be better. But even out of the opposition, near tonight, it will be a good um, capture of Saturn. But this will increase the the challenge level Hui, please behave speaking in uh, writing in Portuguese here and to tell that not heavy but it's not polite we remem remember that we only speak English here yeah? you can speak in Portuguese in the chat but I will not answer you hey Astro Astro Indian X it's in a house Astro Indian X let me tell you something. I love your videos. I don't understand anything that you say because it's not in English, but I understand because I know what you are doing. You're doing a great, a great job. Cloudy Sky, I'm sorry about that. Of course, of course. Dobsonian power. power. Yeah, I love your work. And remember one thing, you don't need to copy anybody. Nothing. Nothing. You're good as you are. Don't don't fall in the trap of other people that uh, try to copy others. You are good as you are. I can see that. Oh yeah? Well, I'm honored to, to have you here. We have another huge li um, huge YouTuber that is a uh, channel member from Brazil also. Um abraço, Richard. It's a very nice guy, Richard. From Galeria do Meteorito. It's our member and it has almost al half a million, also half a million subscribers. Laura know, know very well. I warned you, Rui. The fact uh, that people come here from Portugal and me being Portuguese that doesn't give you the right to be try to be more than the others. We are all equal here. I don't I really don't care about countries. Nothing. 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 Care about people. I also love Galeria do Meteorito. Yeah, it's very, very hard tonight with this wind. But remember, 
members of this channel i will the the video file that i recorded i will post it on discord in the member section please try to process it the best you can to see if you can do better than me and so we can learn from it otherwise in the next members only live stream i will post process this image it will be tough it will be tough but because of this look at this but maybe we can do some magic here I also like Laura. I don't go there too much. I, well, sometimes I go there just to give a super chat or something. I don't uh, go there too much because uh, as I have the, the Sun Empower Brazil, I don't want people to think that uh, I will grow the Sun Empower Brazil by myself. I don't need anybody. I'll do it by myself. As I'm doing here. I'm. I don't need to... I will grow this, uh, I'm growing this channel with you. You, I need you. But not uh, to be... Um, but actually we could do some good stuff with uh, with Richard. He's good on... He's, uh, he's a kind, he's a kind guy. Kind people. Yes, this is only a six inch. <laughs> Because, you know, uh, I have this one. I would love to, to use this one. The 12 inch tonight will be great. But uh, it's super windy. Super, super windy. It's one of the, the worst nights of the year. In wind. And uh, even the 18 inch, if I place the 18 inch... Look, this one is shaking a lot. The 18 inch will be a mess. So I thought... Well, I do with a Virtuoso, point and track, and it's tracking the 6 inch Dobsonian. And uh, later in another live stream, I will do with the 8 inch or the 12 inch, if possible. And looks good for a 6 inch. Remember that I'm using a Barlow. I'm using this. All of this, like this. The camera 294, where is the NASA sticker? Then an adapter, M42 to M48. Then a bother um, infrared cut filter. Then an adapter, M48 to nose piece, one and a quarter. Enters inside the 5X barrel, and that's it. And all of this inside the focuser. This tele extender, it's not really a barrel, it's a tele extender from La Cirta. It's a very nice, very, it's very nice. Uh, it has quality and it's not expensive for the quality it has. My sponsor, Astro Art Finland, said to me, I don't know, I can't confirm this, but his opinion in the background, he said to me that uh, it has the same quality as a Televu. I have a 4X Televu. This 5X, it's different, it's 5X. I don't have a 5X Televu to compare. I don't know, to me, always Televu is Televu. Oh, Samir, lucky! Lucky guy, lucky guy, Samir from Canary Island. Samir is... Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Samir is watching right now in this precise moment well actually he has the same time zone in this precise moment he is looking is watching saturn in the opposition as we are but with his telescope the king the king, the king. and says astrothib samir living the good life <laughs> Chinese barrels and eyepieces are good enough if they've been made after 2010. I don't know. I know that many many things that we buy here um, that come from China are rebranded and uh, 
are the same. Of course, West Coast wins. Dobsonian power. power. Astro India next. Well, I wish you have uh, good weather. I saw you had uh, bad weather in uh, in that video that you you had from Saturn to today. But I wish you good weather. Well, we have time. It's the opposition. It's the supposed to be uh, the best night, but um, we still have time. I I'm anxious to do Saturn with the uh, with the king with a 12 inch. With binos. Do you have the binos already, Samir? Uh, no camus. Better saying, yes, I have in my 18 inch Dobsonian, in my 12 inch Dobsonian, but not in the, the Virtuos because it has a crap focuser, basically because of that. But in the 18 inch and uh, the 12 inch I use. Let me see if I have it here. I use an autofocuser. It's very easy to install. And also with my refractor, this one. This one, Skywatcher. Evo Star 72 ED. Dobsonian power. You can buy these stickers if you want, and t-shirts and everything, and help the channel. In The link is in dobsonianpower.com, my website. And I have there, let me do a bit of self-promotion, I have there... Um, Sweatshirts for boy, for girl, t-shirts for kids, and accessories like the cap, the um, the hat. I use the hat. I have the hat. The cap I don't use because I do like this, but some people like. I do like this. But I have loads of stuff there, and it helps the channel. I think if uh, sometimes you buy things if i start uh, if I, when i see if it happens when i see in the future that i sell more of these clothes i will contract some designer to do a different um, a different design for the for the clothes i focus with the hand here and it's very weird but it's easy It's difficult tonight because I'm using a 5x Barlow. It's 5x. It's too much. Collimating is not uh, is not that. Collimating it's You see Brian just takes practice. Now I do that bam bam bam. Super easy. Well, in the 12 inch sometimes if I clean the mirrors and take them off and it's completely out of collimation You have to take some patience, to have some patience and be adjusting. Maybe the 10 inch also the same. But the 8 inch and this one, the 6 inch, is super easy. No. Yeah, I, not, not chat GPT, but uh, the others. But, um, well, I might do that. But they, I tried, but, uh, well, I'll tell you the truth. I tried, but it was... Uh, The telescope, the telescopes, uh, the AI the, don't do, they don't do good telescopes designs. Yet. Have to move this. You see? With planet stabilization. The planet is always on the center, but in reality is here, this red bar. It's getting out of the screen. You see, if I take off the planet stabilization, off. You see? Now I recenter. Mm. 
but I dream with the time that YouTube uh, and it will be a matter of time I think that YouTube to join us even better in the world in the future I will be speaking here for instance if I speak in Portuguese and YouTube translates to audio in English good audio I think it will be like that so we can speak any language in a live stream and anybody from any part of the world can understand easily because there are countries with uh, nice people that I would like to understand and I can't and the opposite some people don't know English ah so you're using uh, Binos you still prefer a mono eyepiece for the moment can it be Samir because of the quality of the binos I don't know can you tell us uh, the, the brand for us to to know because I'm interested in, in binos for the future to do visual let's try to see the moons here now that you talk I will increase the exposure a lot Two seconds let's see if the moons pop uh, there's here one let me increase again yeah one two three uh, let me see solarium four it's here one two three four five i think let's see stellarium to see the moons astronomy is universal language that's why i, I see you <laughs> i understand Saturn. Enceladus, Enceladus here at the left, Dion, and at the right, Tethys, and Rhea. And there's nothing there, no. One, two, three. You can see three of them. The ones that don't know we, we to see the moons we have to overexpose now i will come back to watch the the planet i have to to lower the exposure The shiny is branded from Skywatcher. Maybe for the quality of the binos. If you want, Camus, I can try because uh, I will have to remove the Barlow either ways. And we can try, but it will be... It will be sharper, a bit sharper, maybe but smaller let's see let's see your suggestion i will remove the barrel right now hold on <laughs> why not camus why not 
Why not? I just don't place the, the other telescopes I have outside just because of the wind. Otherwise, if now the wind was completely over, I right away, even without cooling off, cooling down, the telescope, at least the 8 inch, will be great to have. Now, I will turn on the camera outside for you to see how I struggle, but how I do it in the simple way that I can. The challenge now, the challenge, this is a challenge. Remember, we are with a 6 inch. We are watching Saturn opposition with a 6 inch Dobsonian telescope, a Virtuoso telescope. This one. Only this, a small telescope, 400 bucks telescope. Or 500 bucks now. No, this has to be smaller. Okay, let's do. The challenge will be this. I will go outside. I will take off the 5x Barlow. You will see. But taking it off, it will completely change my focal plane. So that's the worst part of this telescope. It's the caveat to adjust the sliders until you get the focus. As far as I remember, without any focal reducer and any Barlow, this telescope will be near focus with the sliders just all up. Which is actually... They are almost all up. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hold on a bit. Super wind. Look at the wind. Are you to list? Are you to list on the wind? Oh. Now. telescope. I will not remove it. I don't need it. I will just unscrew the barrel, take it off, and replace the case. See with the nose? Guys, look. I will try to do what I said to you on this card. To have it flat, completely flat, even. Guys, well, now I will turn, I will type one of the screws slightly. With the finger pressing the camera against the focuser to keep the even, to keep it level. And now the other one. Okay. And now I tight again the first one. And the second one. But with more strength. Now, I know what I'm going to do. I will point to the moon.
or maybe to Saturn again. Let me see. Manual. I will do it manually. Because I moved the telescope. I will move the slider. No. I don't. I will... Uh, the worst part. I will stretch this. Overexpose. Ah, there's the donut. You see? We need to overexpose. Okay. Now I will move the sliders down to see if this donut will get smaller. If the donut gets smaller. While I move the sliders down, that means that I, it's the right direction. I will stretch a bit more to see the donuts of the stars. I will increase the, the gain. It's enough. You see? Now I can see clearly the dots. The donuts. Let's move the sliders again. Now up.
up here. Okay, you saw me struggling to have it near focus. I was moving the sliders just to have more or less it focused. And now, and now, see Saturn, but it's overexposed. Now, you see if it's moving. Yes, the, the wired connection it's very good. Take the sound off because of the wind. And now I will rotate the focuser. Now I will do the regular focusing. Now that I lock the sliders, I will rotate the focuser to have it on focus. Fine tune, basically. Now it's easier. Let me disconnect. This is super windy. Okay. So you saw the time I take or it takes to, to focus this. Now I can lower again the gain and the exposure. Do it. And as I'm not using any Barlow the planet will be even smaller. Now, this is for you to see the problem. That's why we use we use Barlow's to increase the focal length. Okay. Let me just adjust the exposure. I will show you the problem. Now not using the Barlow. Look at the image, I will zoom. Look. You see pixelized? Can you see it? 
If I zoom a lot, you have to zoom a lot. We need longer focal length. That's why we use barloads. It doesn't have the power to zoom so much. If it was the 12 inch, I could do this and the planet will be without this pixelized image. I think you can see on YouTube. I will zoom the most. I, I can't zoom more than this. You see? Of course, if you zoom out, this will be... Look, this is what I see with this telescope visually. This. This inexpensive te telescope that I have, 100 bucks or something that costs now on Amazon. It's the Power Seeker 70AZ. It's a cheap telescope. I have the links at my website. Is what I see through an eyepiece. Like this, Saturn. So this is without a barrel. You see? Isn't worth it. It's better to use a longer focal length. You are timed out. Sometimes we... It was a mistake. You can see here. Bazaar, you are deleting messages Ah, you, you timed out. Okay. It was a mistake. Sometimes it happens. That's a good question, as if. Uh, it was not a mistake. Okay. Um, what's the name? Camus, it was a warning. Please don't use bad language because otherwise, look here, I'm worse than than the moderators. I have this finger. You see this finger here, super heavy. I don't care. I banned already members from the the channel. Members that pay. I don't care. I can do like this and ban. I don't see you any anymore in my life. Behave, behave. If you were timed out. On purpose, I, I trust them. It was because you behave bad. I will not waste time on that. Well, and now let's move on. Thank you, Astrothi. Otherwise, this will be like uh, being in the school. We don't want. I don't want that for my channel. And Discord is the same. Discord is my channel also. It's our community. Well, we, I will see that. If you don't know, maybe it was um, a mistake. Don't worry, don't worry. Because what I speak, I speak, but I'm clear as water. And I move on. I move on. I don't be thinking... I will not be thinking in that. Let's move on, then I will analyze later. Don't worry. Now, the, the Mazif, Mazif, we were with Mazif. Where is it now? See, I don't like to waste time on this. Ah, it's here. I wonder how Galileo felt the first time he spied Saturn in his eyepiece. I also wonder... And I wonder... Because now, Mazif, when we watch something new and you go to the community, I saw this and you take the picture. I saw this is, was incredible, I saw this, this object is very rare, I saw this for the first time. Very happy and we all get happy for you. But Galileo, 
I wonder what he thought after seeing Saturn and that satisfaction, of course. How can I explain this to the others? <laughs> and we know the result, what was the result. So it's very, very complicated to be a Galileo. Doesn't matter the, the time frame. Let's zoom this. Of course. Godsonian. Thanks, Antonio Cortes. A fair, a fair, a fair Barlow for this one is a, a 2x, 3x. It's a balancing. Five x. If the thing is better, bam. We'll see. I I recorded the video. Where are you located, Chris? You are in Chris, Chris, Australia. Yeah. Are you in Australia? There's the the geoptic.com geoptic.com sells my platform I, I like this platform it's not the best one but it's a fair um, relation with price and quality I use it in all my dogs but uh, now it's uh, USA well you have a, a good uh, platform there but it's mm, more expensive it's the Tom Ho it's uh, two x two axis. They have one axis, also, but it's more expensive. Geoptic.com has a good uh, price for the quality it has, and it's from Italy. And they ship they ship everywhere in the world, as far as I could understand. And um, now there's four and eight inch. You can go lower in quality. You can buy f buy around 400 500 bucks uh, a decent uh, platform for an 8 inch omega now has a, a new line asterion i don't have them i didn't test them those but i saw people using them with an 8 inch and they work uh, well uh, rao has uh, a cheaper one also but I can't remember the um, the brand. And some people build, but it's it's hard to build a platform. I can't. I don't understand how to do it. Astro Thieb, of course. It's happened with the image. Let me close the layering. Too many things opening. Astro Thieb has a... a Sterion. The problem is the company is in Ukraine, so they are not exporting to their resellers at the moment. From what I saw, and I can't confirm this, but from what I saw of that platform and that Omegan, but it's on Europe, they are very similar. 
But look, Ed Jones, Tom Ho, Brian Fowler is from United States. Thank you for helping. Ed Jones also, yes, of course. And Ed Jones has, if you want to try to build one, it has, he has uh, videos on in YouTube explaining. I saw them, but I, I can't. Uh, I don't have the tools, the machinery to to work the, the wood. Geoptic is, is a good one. It's Geoptic I will place here. I don't have any affiliate link with them, but it's geoptic.com. It's now in the... What I like in um, what I like in Geoptics, it's the quality of the building. It's all stainless steel mainly, and it has also aluminum for certain parts. It has a good um, a good motor gear, and uh, it works. So now the version they sell it's different than mine. Mine has only one motor in one side of the north position and they had another motor so they now they sell them with two motors at north in, instead of the rolling bears it, it bearings it's the two motors and it has a a rubber that moves with the, the gear those motors and the platform shaft of stainless, stainless steel it uh, will be placed over that uh, rubber and the thing that I like is that the rubber is better than the, those ones that are over the metal itself because it doesn't drift it uh, gives enough friction to hold uh, the heavier telescopes that's why the 12 inch works well there no it's not from a dwarf no i couldn't do planets with a dwarf actually those kinds of those those kinds of telescopes the smart telescopes are not good for planets i know someone did that with a old three filter or something i don't know i couldn't do it and uh, you will not see planets at least so often do uh, capture it with uh, those telescopes i wish i could Brazil, aqui só falamos inglês. We only speak English here. But you have... I have good news. Mas eu tenho boas notícias para você. Você pode ir a Dobson and Power Brazil. I have a channel, Dobson and Power Brazil. I will place for the Brazilian that are here and don't understand English. Marilea. She doesn't understand English, but she has the opportunity of the Opson in Power Brazil. Subscribe o canal. Boa noite. I only speak English here. The ZWO, if I recommend the ZWO 294 for astrophotography with the Virtuoso, I recommend the ZWO 294 for all the, the Dobsonians or Neutronians. Because it has the better, in my opinion, the better re relationship with quality, price, um, pixel size, because you will have a better pixel scale. It has large, larger pixels size. It has a larger pixel size than most of the other cameras below that uh, price level. 
which is good for the Opsonians because we usually with the Opsonians we oversample. Well, if you don't understand that, go to thopsonianpower.com, free stuff, the tab free stuff, and you have there a link that says pixel scale or whatever. It's a, a small article that very well summarized that you will understand that uh, concept when choosing a camera. The 294, well, however, uh, although it has a large field of view, which is very important because it allows us to capture, to find the objects much easier in the sky with a wider field of view. With the Virtuoso, not with the others, but with the Virtuoso, or especially with the Virtuoso, which has a small um, aperture of the focuser, it's only one and a quarter, and will increase the vignetting. That's a common problem that I usually underestimate when speaking about this camera and the Virtuoso, but now we have been talking with Geisler precisely on uh, Discord, our Discord server, because he was wondering why the vignetting, why he couldn't get rid, why this aberration. But I, I have that aberration, that vignetting in the Virtuoso so assumed, so normal, that uh, I forget to, to talk about it. And uh, even that you do everything to protect the telescope from light leaks, from whatever, it will have always a stronger vignetting than in wider focusers and different Dobsonians. The Virtuoso, with that small aperture and a wide field of view, low focal length, will increase the vignetting. The solution is simple, and Geisler already understood that it's to crop the the image so you take the benefit of a wider field of view camera a wider sensor larger sensor to find the objects and to capture eventually larger objects with the art of Sonian, like the orion nebula the the omega nebula the lagoon nebula etc and you you crop the um, the edges and you get a, a smaller nebula. Usually, and oftentimes, we are searching small objects with the Dobsonian because with the aperture we can get more detail of the objects going deeper, of the deep sky objects like galaxies, planetary nebula, uh, those faint objects that are very rare. Actually, we will have here one soon by suggestion of Astrothib, our kind member of the channel, and we will speak about that later, not, not today. But those kind of faint objects, as we go deep with the Dobsonians, we don't need the edges for nothing. So we just, we don't concentrate on that. We don't focus our energy on the defect of the wedges. We use the camera, the power of the wide aperture of the camera, the wide sensor, to, to easily capture the object to easily plate solve because the camera having a wide sensor it will plate solve much faster and much better with the sharp cap plate solve is by the way to identify with the number of stars we need a, a, a decent number of stars for the the software sharp cap pro plate solve identify the place in the sky where you are and align the telescope it's excellent for a go-to telescope like the virtuals that i'm using hmm? So it's a, a, another benefit of having a wide sensor. And then you get the, the, the deep sky object, the faint object, and you crop. And that's it. And plenty of objects that I have from that, uh, this telescope. And I do always the same. I do always the same. Hold on. You do it like this. See, this was all with a Virtuoso. This was with a Virtuoso. This was Neptune with a Virtuoso. This was Andromeda with a Virtuoso. I just crop these and then we can uh, do some tweaks in live stacking. This was the bubble with a Virtuoso. You see the comet, another comet. You see, you can take beautiful pictures you just crop here. You don't need to look at how beautiful they look. 
Helix Nebula. I have to, to capture this here, but it will... It will be higher in the sky. And much more. I have much more pictures here. I just don't want to... To get you bored with that. Just for you to understand. That camera has a, a good price for... Uh, the camera it is. So it's my always my recommendation. Until a new offer from the manufacturers arrive. Right now, with uh, that relationship, quality, price pixel scale, uh, wide sensor, everything, no. And even, I was thinking, even if I had uh, the 1600 or something from ZW, the ones that have uh, even wider sensor, I start thinking, well, if I have this problem with the Virtuoso, with that camera will be worse, and it might increase that problem, the vignetting, in the... Um, in the others, the 8 inch and the 12 inch, and you say, Tiago, but you can solve the vignetting problem easily doing flats, no? Yes, you can, but I don't like to do flats. I'm lazy. So th There's a balance there with that camera that I love. Star Horse, love to you, love to India, and congratulations for your excellent landing of the moon with Chandrayaan 3. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, Sergio, it was just to, for you to get a, a notion. I have beautiful pictures with this telescope. What's happening, Christopher? Yes, I know, but it will be the same. Christopher, if I change the resolution, I... I will change the size, the resolution will be the same. Changing the ROI, that's a thing that often people don't know changing the region of interest will not change the resolution of the camera no wanna see where is saturn oh i lost saturn Oh, because I have it zoomed. See? You still have the same problems here. It doesn't change the resolution. It's the same. Change the ROI or do the zoom. The difference it will be when recording. The region of interest being smaller will, in theory, give you a fast framer frame rate. Because the, it's logical. Because the camera, for the ones that don't know, because the camera will change with the computer through the USB cable, which is 3.0, by the way, a smaller group of bits of information. Being smaller, the size of the information can get faster there. Christopher, that's why I use the region of interest instead of binning, for instance. Because binning, if you bin, you lose resolution. But if you use the region of interest, you don't. And now, 
but it, it, I don't know if it's working fine already. They have uh, Robin Head here. The selection of the Roy, you can select like this with a square. I tried, but it was not uh, the simple way for me. Because of the seeing gene block, the seeing, the seeing, the, the conditions, the atmospheric conditions tonight here are awful. Despite we have almost no clouds, but uh, the, um, the atmospheric conditions are awful and they affect a lot the, the way we watch the, the planets. They are closer to us, to Earth. They are brighter, they are different than deep sky objects. And deep sky objects, we see even that they are faint, as we do here in live streams. We live stack, it adds to the, the quality of the image. It's a different way to do. But if I place a nebula, a deep sky object here, like this, in without touching, in the display, without touching, without stacking, live stacking it will be hard to watch also yes i'm having bad seeing horrible seeing tonight the wind is the it, it's it's everything the wind the hot the hot uh, air being released now it will be better because we are already here it's almost 1 p.m Virtuoso or the dwarf over the 6-6 six, six or C8 oscillation, all do you recommend the same? I'm cautious with the recommendations because it all depends on your goals. Someone, for instance, someone that tell me, Tiago, um, but I'm tra I, tra I don't have time for I work, I don't have time to be here with loads of uh, gear and I travel a lot. I just want something portable to the dwarf. If you say to me, mm, I don't travel a lot, but uh, I have uh, super high light pollution here in my place, but I can go camping sometimes. In the weekend, I go to, to do some camping. What do you recommend? The Virtuoso, because you can pack it and do the, your camping. It's a the or to a week uh, weekend house or holidays house or something like that. Even better, the virtuoso. It's not a pocket telescope, but it has the power. You can see here. You can see that is it has already the power of uh, a good Opsonian. Six inch professional mirrors. It's not a toy. And. Um, those are the ones that usually I recommend, but the, imagine that you say, no, uh, but Tiago, yeah, well, hold on. I have beautiful sky here. I'm on Mortal 3. I have here loads of space to place any telescope. So you can have aperture. I can even recommend you the 12 inch. You are young and you have some strength. You are healthy, not young healthy and you have strength no problems with uh, even a 12 inch I have uh, more or less space you know my wife doesn't like too much because I buy a lot lots of things an 8 inch for instance or a 10 inch an 8 inch is a good compromise you see there are different factors and variables that will you might even want a refer. Ah, but Tiago, no, hold on. I don't do any visual. You are suggesting me all those telescopes, but I don't do any visual. I don't have... Um, I love to do... I'm a photographer. I love to do... to take pictures. And uh, I was thinking something like that. And I love those wide field of view nebulae that I see online. Refractor. You see, best place for everybody.
Yeah, so infrared filter, actually, I was planning to use one. I have it here, right here. It's not uh, the name here. No, it's not the name outside. It's the name of the... Um, it's already with the... Uh, oh, it's not here. It's, it's prepared. This is one and a quarter adapter in a filter drawer. And I have it here. One. And another one. Six, eight, five. Two infrared filters, but I was planning to do it tonight. But if I was with uh, the 12 inch or the 8 inch with a filter drawer, not with a virtuoso. Short range infrared is different. Yeah. That's why I have those two different ones to to try. On the moon, on the planets, and the others to do some stuff. Different stuff. We'll see. We have to have different things to experiment. Glad to know, Sergio. It's uh, the cheaper way to, to enter, to me, it's still the, vir the Virtuoso. You can do visual, you can do... You can take pictures. Look uh, how much time I was here and I, I connected it before the stream. And it's still there on Saturn. Bam. Bam. It's nice to, to have a go to... Also, What direction are you talking about, Star Horse? Hello, Sean. Welcome back. Here you see Gene also. Lots of people with a virtuoso. The direction, it's at east right now. Right now it's at south, more or less. It's higher now. I will show you. Let me open Solarium. Yes, any sensor. Okay, Musa, remember for instance the 224 camera, which is super inexpensive. And I have it. It's very sensitive to infrared, for instance. Jupiter here, Saturn here. You see, more or less at south. Almost at south. It's right now here, it's at 40 degrees altitude, it's very nice. If it wasn't for the... Um, because of the wind. But that's why, you see, if now, right now it's 1pm here. If it's here... At 1pm, it means that it will be here... Later, in a month. 
it will be here at this position this exact position but earlier in the day later in the month earlier in the day for instance september after the moon 6 7 8 september 8 and if we go to the the time of the stream okay 11 o'clock you see at a lower altitude yet but as the night goes it will be higher so september september will be a good uh, month for saturn and for jupiter also that's how i manage things to watch that's why it's important to know a bit of the sky to be outside watching the sky watching the constellations learning a bit of the constellations because then you for instance i know that the helix nebula that i like very much will be now it will be good in the sky but i want the 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 objects at the time of the live stream at the beginning so it will be later also i'm waiting i'm waiting for those colliding galaxies that astro uh, showed us on on discord i th i think i i did them already two years ago but i want to watch them they are beautiful for a dog they are incredible colliding galaxies you will see here two colliding galaxies in these live streams soon when the weather allows to place the 12 inch outside and i know that it will be later also later in in the month to be in the altitude i want at the time i want which is the live stream Sergio is working to astrophotography. It's a good entry point, even being an altezimut mount. Mount is um, is a good entry point. It has some advantages to start in astrophotography and then move on to another to up level it. And what I mean to up level is inside astrophotography, because to me. To up level in astronomy is not what often people think, which is to buy better gear to, uh, to get better pictures. That to me is not up leveling astronomy. That is up leveling astrophotography. There's very uh, different paths. To up level astronomy, it, it's a much higher, much broader thing that only a specific take picture stuff it's much more than that it's connecting with the sky in different levels couple of comments we will see them i have all of that uh, planned i do my my homework We are watching from here. Planet Earth, continent Europe, country Portugal, region Algarve, 37 latitude, Bortol 5. Jean, Jean Block, the king, which means our 12 inch Dobsonian, will be much better. Will return us a much better view of this planet much better even like this without doing nothing the reason i didn't place the king and even the 8 inch it's because tonight exceptionally and unfortunately the wind is super super strong well unfortunately i was full of clouds if it wasn't by the wind to clean all that mess in the sky I would have clouds, so choose. Pick one. Clouds or wind? Clouds or wind? With clouds you can't see anything. With wind at least you can't 
you can see something which we are doing actually the scene is getting better or maybe both that you are but the scene is getting better for sure it's getting darker i do the live streams earlier well tonight is an event a special event is different but usually if you notice i do earlier as earlier as i can the live streams because of europeans if uh, the viewers were only from united states it was piece of cake but the europeans right now it's here it's 1 pm most part of the northern europe is already at the middle of the night they are sleeping Yes, we can see everything with a with a 12 inch. With a 12 inch you can see everything. Well, don't underestimate the the 6 inch because this picture of this 6 inch was last year. Was I took this picture of Saturn last year, it was not the opposition. With a 6 inch, the same telescope it's here. I can't remember if a Barlow was used. I don't remember. I may have that in my files, but I can't remember. I think I used the 5X, but I can't remember. I don't even know if I had a, the 5X. But you see, you can after processing. However, If you go to a, a um, a twelve inch, of course, that a twelve inch will give you a much detailed. Actually, it was not this one. Is this one? We, this one is with a 224 camera look you can zoom and you don't get pixelized here look 224 look with a 294 this one see the 12 inch is the best And then you get these beauties on Terry Nebula. But it's another story. The 12 inches is beautiful. Guys, don't forget to join us on Discord. Because it's a, it's like the extension of this channel. And it's free. It's free. And you can ask anything there. You can post your pictures. This is a general forum. You see, you can post your pictures. This is the general forum. Ask questions. Uh, visual astronomy. EAA. See here only AA pictures. And you have the community pictures. Let's see what you have been doing lately. You see Clef Amy. Amy. The sun. Huh? Beautiful with the, the flares here. Geisler. With a telephone, you see? With only a telephone. Jonathan, the Elix. 
Geisler, Star Cluster, M15, Astro Lover, Mazif, doing experiments with ghosts in the sky. Jonathan, Luca, you see? Jupiter, Jonathan, Luca, Astro Lover. Christoph. See? You can post them here. And the EAA. If you like EAA, look at this. EAA, not processed. With a dual narrow band. EAA, not processed. These all, all these pictures were not processed. Look at this one, Brian Fowler. See here, a picture of the screen. So you can see the settings, everything. Look at these beauties, without processment. Here, here they are. Who, who, who did this? Brian Fowler, but it was um, Astro Thieve. Here they are, the galaxies, the um, colliding galaxies I said to you, let me zoom. That we will do in a live stream, live. You see? These are two galaxies here, one here. Let me show you. This will be beautiful to do. One here at the bottom and another here. With these stars, this orange star and this is more to the blue. Here a small galaxy. This is a beautiful object. You see? Look how beautiful it, it gets on the, um, on the screen. And we will be doing these ones. These beauties. So you know what to do. Click on the link and join. Solar Eclipse. Solar Eclipse. Don't forget what I asked you about the Solar Eclipse in the members. Don't forget what I we were being we were talking about. Guys, I think we saw enough. At least we had a good view of uh, the Saturn opposition. We were there. We were. We are there actually. Super bright now, Saturn, look at this, super, super bright. Thank you very much for being here. I will be with you next uh, live stream with the moon. It's already scheduled. Click the reminder for you to be notified and don't miss that uh, super blue moon. It will be fun. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you for being here.